also that. We'll have also writers who cover UCLA and North Carolina today on the show, plus Grayson at 345. So, any, oh, Deshaun Watson. You, yesterday we kind of felt like maybe Cleveland was out of it, and then there was like they're not going to trade Deshaun. They're not going to let the Baker Mayfield trade request. How about this, Craig Smoke, Paul Catalina? Deshaun Watson reports is headed to Cleveland. He's going to get about $80 million more guaranteed money. And now they'll work out the particulars, of course, of what, in fact, Cleveland will send to the Houston, Texas. Yeah, uh, good for Cleveland and good for Deshaun Watson. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of uh, – I, I don't want to do what sports media does where they try to, like, all of a sudden be uh, – I don't even know what the, the term for it was. I mean, because we, we cover so many different stories and, you know, there's people who get in trouble and do things and some of it's true and some of it's not and you never quite know. And ultimately, you know, there's some people who want to dig down on, like, personal issues and, and really take a stand sometimes and they can get bashed for it. And, and this whole Deshaun Watson thing, like, you've seen people kind of put their stakes down, right? Like, you've seen the NFL reporters like an Adam Schefter who are clearly just peddling the lines of Deshaun Watson's agent and helping him to – to get uh, back on track in the league. And then you see others that are very upset today because he's just being treated like a guy who didn't have 22 women who accused him of, uh, of assault or sexual assault. Uh, that's just kind of gone away. And there's people that are keep bringing it up. But uh, I think for the most part, Deshaun Watson, he got through the, the court issues, you know, last week. He's still got the civil trials. Uh, but now he's got the money to pay for whatever. Uh, that's for sure because all this is guaranteed money. So uh, I... I'm just kind of torn on it because, you know, as an NFL fan, it's like, oh, wow, cool news, awesome news uh, that Deshaun Watson's going to Cleveland. It's a very strange choice, uh, in my opinion. I mean, of all the teams that he had that were offering him, I don't know why. Maybe there's a guaranteed money that put Cleveland over the top. Uh, but there is, like, part of me that, you know, as much as there's been guys in the league year in and year out who do things and we just kind of eventually get over it, including murderers, we just treat them like Hall of Famers a few years later or people who are accused of it, you know, whatever. It's just I, I don't I'm not going to get super excited when I see Deshaun Watson out there playing next year because I'm, I am going to have it in the back of my head like, man, this just feels sort of weird. Uh, you know, unless there's just some amount of clarity where it's a mask is ripped off and all 22 of these women are liars, which I don't believe that they are. Um, I'm not I'm going to feel kind of weird about it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to root for him like I used to be able to root for him or appreciate him. And that's just me. I'm not saying that like everybody's got to be that way. I'm just saying for me, just the whole handling of the situation has been just kind of gross. And uh, the story itself is gross, and I hate that we don't know exactly what is true so we could put, you know, things uh, a lot clearer in their categories. Um, and, you know, if Deshaun Watson is somebody who got accused wrongly by 22 women, I would love to know that so that I could root for Deshaun Watson. But because of the way this whole thing has gone down and kind of been handled, it's just it just feels we, weird. We, and I, I can't get super excited like this is just a regular NFL trade. And do you know when we will have clarity on this? Never. No, you no. never. And, and here's the deal. You, 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 uh, you, you may never know the truth. And we do seem to have in this country, or maybe even if it's in Poland or Norway or wherever else, selective type decision making on anyone who's been accused of something based on maybe sometimes what you want or your favorite team or what's best for whatever you like as a fan or person or even other reasons outside of that politically. And it's kind of become where, yeah, I agree. It's, it's kind of, it's awkward. It's tough. It's hard. We've seen those who have been accused and absolutely lose and ruin their career. Yep. And it wasn't true. Yep. And then. And we've seen some that are. And then we've seen some that are. And yes, uh, they're done. And that's what's just hard and, to kind of swallow. And there's, there's sometimes you know. a follow up. But yeah, but well, everyone deserves a second chance. So it, it, yeah, it's, but does does somebody deserve a second chance if they never really paid for it to begin with? And sitting out a year is not really paying for it. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm but it's, it's, I, no, yeah, I'm no, I know I'm speaking specifically to Sean Watson. But yeah, like morally, it is tough because there's so many different situations that are similar or or whatever. And I don't want to st suddenly sit here today, like I'm sure a lot of reporters across America are doing, suddenly be like defying over Deshaun Watson, and I'm morally <laughs> against this and all that. Uh, be, and there are reporters that have been talking about it the entire length of this. There's a lot of people upset today that are like, man, this just feels, you know, kind of crazy how we're just glossing over why, why we even got to this point in the first place. 
Like, we're not even giving the backstory anymore. It's just like, Deshaun Watson's traded to Cleveland. Yeah, but Never I don't mind be, why this all happened. I don't, don't want to be copy and paste to have to go over it again. But you're right. The reason that he's being traded was because he and Houston went sideways. And on top of that, of course, the accusations and the toxic atmosphere in Houston. Yeah, that's you're all I'm right. saying is it's just it's a weird deal because you don't know what's what. And I, I don't want to make a final judgment on, on a situation I really don't know. But the fact that we don't know and now it's just, you know, 22 allegations out the window. No, basically, nobody's going to pay attention to the civil suit in comparison to, to his availability now being out there. So, yeah, it's just a, it's a strange deal and just feels